What's up, lifelong learners? This is your boy, Mr. Hang, with another tutorial. It is late, so I'm gonna do this fast because I'm getting tired, feel me? Okay, what are we learning? Color correction, color keying, fast forward, and slow motion. Why are we learning it? To be able to correct exposure, correct color, remove green screen, fast forward, and slow motion in Wii video. How do we know we learned it? When students submit a 10 second video showing and labeling exposure color manipulation, keying out a color, and changing a clip playback speed. Okay, and so this is what I'm expecting by the end of the class today or by the time you're done with this tutorial. Look, I'll play this back for you, okay? All right, so there's color correction. So we're color manipulating. Obviously, this is like Skittles. Don't look like that. So I labeled it color correction, all right? And then I have another one, which is keying out color, meaning removing like a green screen. So this person's flying in a green screen. See how their face is removed because it's actually really green there. All right, so I label that as color keying. You can remove them just more than just the color green, but we'll get to that a little bit later. And then also right here, you got this homie right here. His name. Homie's boxed in slow motion right there, but you know, it could be in fast forward if you speed up the clip, all right? And I also label it slow motion. So once you have something like this, you are pretty much done and you can submit your work on Canvas. Okay, so let's move on. All right, so today, I'm gonna review, we're gonna you know how to do color correct, we're gonna do color keying, we're gonna do uh, uh, speed manipulation. So we're gonna learn how to fast forward and slow motion and then you're gonna edit seven layers of video. Okay, so and then you're gonna create a folder and then you, you, know, you know all this stuff, I'm not gonna go through this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight to what we're doing. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do here is we're gonna click on project, you're gonna go into small projects or small assignments and then you're gonna, and then you're gonna click on this Bottom right corner right here and click over here where you're going to rename the video and I'm too lazy to type it all out so I'm just going to go to the agenda, I'm going to copy this, control C and I'm going to paste it right here, right here. Paste. Done. It's a wrap. Alright, next thing I do here is I'm going to lay down a background layer so you know I'll get, I'll get this blue right here because I don't want to use green. All right. So I'll make sure that this is a uh, 10 seconds long. All right, I'll zoom in right here. So that way we can see everything. All right, so the next thing here is I'm gonna pick something with color from stock media. So I'll just type in like rainbow or something like that. Oh, colors, All right, I'll just type in colors. So that way I get like stuff with like a lot of different colors here. Okay, so let's just pick this rainbow color right here, drag and drop it right there. Is that a, yeah, that's 10 seconds long, perfect. All right, so this is 10 seconds long, it's perfect. Okay, so what you can do here is you can actually do color manipulation by double clicking into this. When you double click into this, you get this color manipulation right here. You can change the brightness. Of course, to the left it gets darker because you're negative. To the right it gets brighter, positive. You can reset that right there. Contrast is just making lines more prevalent and the light part's really bright and the dark part's really dark. So if you take away contrast, you're actually going to like nothingness, okay? And then if you're putting more contrast in when you drag to the right, see how these lines become more prevalent and the, the colors become more of that specific color and the darker colors get darker and the lighter colors get lighter, okay? So if I bring it back over here, you see all these different shades. So what this is doing here is it's creating harder lines like that instead of like a nice little, nice little gradient right here. Okay, it's just going straight to hard lines like this. All right, that's what it's doing. Making the darks darker and the colors that are lighter, more lighter. It basically changes the luminous, all right? I'm, that's like nerdy, I don't wanna say that, but that's what it does. And then next thing here is saturation. Take it to the left, we take out all the colors. It becomes black and white. And we drag it to the right, bam, there's way too much color. You, obviously this has been edited, it's like popping. You know what I mean? It's just popping. And then when you do this hue, you're basically shifting the colors from red to blue, blue to red, so on and so forth. You can just play around with this. Okay, so you're basically shifting the colors of the rainbow with two other colors of the rainbow, okay? And then when you do temperature right here, you drag it to the left, it becomes more becomes more bluish. All right, notice how the blue gets more blue and the, 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 the red gets less red and more towards the blue-ish, okay? And then when you go towards the right, it, everything gets more orangey. See how the reds gets more orangey and the blue gets less blue. See? Okay. Now to demonstrate this, I should have picked something with like a co the color white. If you pick something with the color white, 
you will see a difference when you shift to the left you see the white turn blue and you shift to the right whatever is white turns more like um, orangey okay so that's tungsten cool and uh, warm and then we have tint tint turns the green things more green it just turns more green all right see how the yellows kind of shift to green okay see these yellows they shift to green when you go to the left and when you go to the right it shifts towards magenta okay all the highlights and shadows and all that they all shift towards magenta this left shift towards green right shift towards magenta okay so that's tint so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna really mess with this all right so I can change my saturation. oh I don't want to change I want to change my saturation up to here my contrast all right so you know that looks pretty messed up like I don't know just mess it up okay so I can see that this is messed up all right it's messed up colors that's okay it's really used to correct colors and make things lighter and brighter, but I'm not trying to correct right now. I just want to, obviously, you have gone around and messed with this slider. And I'm going to change the size of the video here. And then I'm going to put it off to the left, bottom right, or wherever you want to put this. Okay. Click save. And then I'm going to go to my text layer. You can pick static or you can pick motion. It's up to you. Let's pick a motion text right here. All right. Oh, I ran out of video layers. Got to add another video layer. Bam, right there. And then I'm going to put, um, let's see this one, Whip, Whisper, okay? I'll drag this over here. Make it about 10 seconds, double click into it. I'm going to change the text here. Whisper in, I'm gonna put um, uh, color correction. Okay, and I can change the font size and, and the color of the text. Let's go make that like orange, okay? So you can do all that and then you can like um, click this and then drag it over and that's color correction right there. You can change the size of the font here, okay? All right, I manually change this. So I can change this to, oh, I don't know, 50 to just make it smaller, all right? Okay, click out of it. Hopefully that'll change the size. There, it did change the size right there. Oh, that's way too small, but you get the point, all right? You can mess around with that all day. I'm trying to keep this short. Next thing, boom, find another video. Add a video track. So I'm gonna go find another video. Um, let's get like, uh, I'll do boxing again, okay? Homie, homie was boxing, so I kinda found that to be interesting. Uh, so let's see here. Um, I don't see that guy anymore. Boxing. All right, I'll just pick one. Let's pick one that's like pretty long. Let's see, it's like 14 seconds, 16 seconds, 18 seconds, 19 seconds. Yes, let's just take this one. Hopefully this is not in slow motion or anything. Oh, it is slightly in slow motion, whatever. All right, I'll just pick this one, okay? So this, this person is boxing right here or practicing shadow boxing. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna double click into this and then uh, you can go here and it will be the speed change. All right. So this, if you make this slower, it's making the clip go from 18 seconds to, or 19 seconds to a minute and 30 seconds. So like, look, this is gonna be like super long because it was only 18 seconds, but look at this. Let me zoom out. Look at this, this is like a minute long now because you've extended it and you put it into slow motion. See how she's even more slow motion right here? Okay, I double click into that and I go back and I, let's say double the speed or whatever. The clip is gonna be shorter, just four times the speed. So this person's gonna be going super fast, but you can't, you kind of make this shorter, but you can't like drag it any farther because this is how long the clip is. You can't drag the ends, okay? When you make the clip shorter. So I can't make this long enough to reach 10 seconds. But look at, when I play this back, this person, you know, doing stuff super fast. So I want to fit 10 seconds, so I'm going to actually slow it down some more to like, I don't know, negative three. All right, so that right there should be long enough. And I will drag this down to 10 seconds right here. And then I'll drag this back in so that way I can fit my 10 seconds of video. And you can see now she's in slow motion. More slow motion than before. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make double click into this and I'm going to make this smaller so that way you know, Mr. Hank can see what you're doing. So this one right here, I'll just uh, save that. 
add another video layer. I'll do another audio, another text, and then I'll do a static text this time. So this one right here, put it on top, double click into this, and then I'm gonna type in uh, slow motion or slow mo. Okay, so if you did fast boat, fast uh, fast motion, do fast forward. Right, fast, type in fast forward. So I'll change the size of this, make it a little bit smaller. And I'll change the color to like yellow and I'll change this to like, I don't know, blue or something. Okay. And then uh, I can uh, reposition this, put it right here. All right. So now this one's in slow. I labeled mine slow-mo. Okay. So I got this color correction movement. I got the slow-mo right here. So I can see like you've manipulated the color and you've made this manipulated the speed. The last thing you're gonna do is you are going to add another video layer, okay? And then I'm gonna look for green screen, all right? So here is a green screen stuff. I'll just pick whatever, okay? So I'll pick uh, I'll pick this thumbs up right here. Actually, I won't pick a thumbs up. Um, is there any other ones that like more color? Well, I guess I'll, I'll pick the same person flying right here. Actually, I'll pick this dude. All right, I'll just pick this dude right here. Okay, so I'm gonna make this 10 seconds. I'll double click into it. When you go into this this tab right here, it says color key. You click on color, you click on this uh, eyedropper tool, okay? And then you go to your green screen, and then you click it again. You go to your green screen, you click that, you remove the green screen. I only got this homie left right now. But if you click on this, and then you go to his shirt, let's say I want to remove the color white, the green screen will come back. Anything that is close to the color white is going to be removed. See, look at that. He got removed, okay? And if I move this, you can see down to the boxing person right there, okay? Because I'm removing anything that is close to the color white. Now, let's say if I want to remove something that's like close to the color red, okay? Let me just click here and go to red, okay? This, this light red right here, it's going to remove whatever is closest to the color red. So his face is kind of reddish. All right. So then if I reposition this, the green's still there. You can kind of see through whatever is reddish. Okay. But we're trying to remove green because that's the most obvious color to and easy to remove. And I'm going to resize this homie right here. And I'm going to put this down right there. And then I'm going to save that. I'm going to go to text. And I'll, I'll put another, you know, uh, oh, I forgot to make another layer. There's another layer, another layer so I can put my text in there. Okay, so I'll just drag the simple text again. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do something fun. Let's go to call out, right? Right here. Let's go to text. Let's go to call outs. And I'll put this arrow instead, this arrow right here on top of this homie. Okay. So there you go. Um, I'm going to double click into that and I'm going to drag this over here, drag, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I can just move the arrow on this side instead and I'll make this box smaller. Bam. Oh, so easy. Make my life easier. Okay. And I'll change that from simple text to, uh, color keying. And then I'm going to change the size. Okay, let's, let's see. How, okay, there you go. All right, let's drag this up a little bit. Make it bigger so I can see the word color key. And then uh, I can change the box color right there to red. All right. And done. This is basically all you have to do. All right. So then you would just click finish. Make sure this is named correctly. Video SD export to Wii video or Google Drive click export once you're done exporting make sure you take a screenshot double click into the finished export download this drag it in drop it into your folder okay so here is your oh change this digital photography Unit 3, it is called Color Correcting, Color Keying, and Changing Speed. You should have made this folder. Double click into that. 
drag your downloaded Wii video export into that. Um, make sure you take a screenshot of your timeline. Let me go back. Take a screenshot of your timeline. Here's my timeline. Take a screenshot of that. Drag that, drop it in here. And then make sure you right click get the link make sure anyone with link can view copy click done take it to canvas and get into the class and then uh, submit your work okay that's it all right rock paper piece and uh, i'm out because i gotta record another video